as videographers, cinematographer, or YouTubers, we all can agree on one thing, that the flip out screen on the back of the camera is not the best when it comes to making sure you're exposed correctly or pulling focus. That's one thing we all can agree on. So the great folks at Shimbo sent me one of their wireless monitors to test out, and I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. So let's talk about it. Now, this is a 5.5 inch monitor with a 1920 by 1080 resolution, and it has a thousand nits of brightness. Now, if you film anything outside, you know that having a thousand nits of brightness or better is something that you need because if you're filming outside and it's a high sunny day the sun is shining very bright especially if you're just using the flip out screen on your camera you're not going to be able to see what you're filming and it's going to be really hard so having an external monitor is something that a lot of cinematographers and videographers end up getting in their career as their career progresses because when you're first starting out you probably don't need you may not think you may need an external monitor but the more you film and the more you progress in your career and get better you know that you need an external monitor so that's where this monitor comes in and also let's say for hybrid cameras they have an EVF that helps when shooting outside in the sunlight as well so if you're shooting on a more video centric camera you definitely need an external monitor like the FX30 that I'm filming on now like the FX3 an external monitor is something that all videographers have in their kit or in their backpack at all times now let's talk about the build design and quality of this monitor this monitor is made out of aluminum and plastic and the design does not feel cheap in hand at all and with this being a wireless monitor you do have wireless capabilities so now you can transmit this footage to other monitors or even other devices that may be an iPhone or an iPad and if you've ever been on a set with a client some clients they want to see what's happening in real time they want to have that creative control of what's going on they may want to remove something from a shot or add something to a shot now with this monitor you do have that because you can transmit this footage to maybe an iPhone or an iPad so the client can see what's going on in real time and make any changes they want to on the fly and I think that's something that's great and also unlike other wireless monitors the wireless design on here the antennas are not sticking up like other wireless monitors they're built into the body of this monitor so that makes for a very minimalistic and sleek design and I love that they did this on this monitor now let's talk about some things that I like on this monitor now for a disclaimer Shimbu did send over this monitor for me to use for a while and test out but no money changed hands and they don't get any input on this video they see this video as soon as you guys see it as well they don't get any previews or anything like that now let's get back to the video now i'm not going to go over all the specs of this monitor because it's going to have a lot of features that other monitors have but i'm going to go over most of the important things that i think a lot of people are going to use if they pick this monitor up especially if you're a beginner now they have a teleprompter mode on here where you can import your script or text into this monitor and you can have it show up on the monitor while you're filming to use it as a teleprompter i know for beginners youtubers and then beginner content creators it may be hard to read from a script or memorize what you're gonna say in the next clip so having this on top of your monitor or maybe anywhere else on the screen where you can see and read from it so you don't be stumbling over your words or anything like that is something that's great and I think a lot of beginner content creators can gravitate to a monitor like this just for that one important feature that they have now when it comes to ease of use and usability of this monitor you can pick this monitor up today and start using it right away without having any experience it's that easy to use you're gonna have your three custom function buttons at the top right of this monitor that you can set for any functions that you want while using this monitor I have mine set to my zebras my focus speed and my false color that's the three functions that I use on every shoot that I'm shooting and you're also going to have your on the left side of this monitor you're going to have your power button and also on the left side you're going to have your HDMI in and your HDMI out and a headphone jack on the right side you're going to have your USB type C and an SD card slot for you to import your LUTs or anything like that and get your recordings off of this monitor yes you can record on this monitor it's going to be a 1080p video but you still have that functionality on here if you ever needed it now let's talk about the key things that i like about this monitor and the number one thing is false color having false color really changed how i shot videos it made sure i never overexposed my image and while using false color i can monitor my LUT as well just by switching between false color and my monitoring LUT while using this monitor and I think that's something great to have. False color is something that I use 90% of the time when shooting any video just to make sure I'm getting my exposure right and I think a lot of creators use this as well. I know I saw a video by Mark Bone. He really got me into false color and that really changed how I shot my videos when being on set or even shooting my YouTube videos like this. I have false color on my monitor right here in front of me and I think that's something that I, it's just a lot of creators use it and I use it for all of my videos 
it, it's a game changer. A lot of creators, as soon as you get in false color or using false color, especially if you're a beginner, you're never gonna go back with just looking at the flip out screen or just looking at maybe just your phone or anything like that to make sure you're exposed correctly. Sometimes you can't eyeball it. You need that false color to make sure your LUT is being exposed correctly. And with this monitor having that, I like that a lot and I'm very glad it does have that. Now, with the movie The Creator coming out, a lot of creators know that it was shot on an FX3 with anamorphic lenses. And a lot of creators that maybe don't own an FX3 probably going to pick one up now with an anamorphic lens and shoot their short film or documentary using that setup. And what this monitor does have is anamorphic D squeeze. I know the FX3 and the FX30 have an, I believe it's 1.33 and two times anamorphic D squeeze. But on this monitor, they have a lot more options with anamorphic D squeeze for a lot of very other lens variety that you may have. And I think that's something that's great. A lot of creators or cinematographers are gonna gravitate to this monitor or they can gravitate to this monitor just for that feature, having that anamorphic D squeeze. Cause some monitors, they don't have anamorphic D squeeze on there. And I think that's something that this monitor has and it's something that is great. A lot of creators, I myself, I have never shot anamorphic, but I may be getting into it and just to test out how this monitor can use that feature as well. Now, my final thoughts on this monitor is it's great. It's gonna do everything that you need it to do, especially if you're a beginner. This monitor is gonna have everything that you need to get your videographer or content creation journey started. You probably won't have to ever buy another monitor because it has everything built into it already. With your false colors, your teleprompter feature that a lot of monitors don't have, and I think a lot of content creators can use that feature, especially if you're just now starting out you don't want to memorize a script or you're probably stumbling over your words now you don't have to because you can read straight directly from your teleprompter right in front of you and i think that's important that a lot of content creators get a monitor like this to have especially if you're a beginner and with your anamorphic d squeeze and your false colors and your waveforms and histograms this monitor has all of those features i think this monitor is future proof you can pick this monitor up and probably never have to buy a new one in the future because it's going to have all of the same technology that newer monitors are going to come out with i think that's something great this monitor is going to be my daily driver for a while probably not going to get another monitor this is what i've been taking on all of my shoots and probably what i'm be using for a long while probably all throughout 2024 using this monitor but this is the end of this video if you stayed to the end please drop a comment i'll leave links in the description to shimbo's website and this monitor where you can purchase it as well and i'll catch you in the next one peace